I kind of look like an Easter egg. Hey guys! Today I am doing a Easter themed video because Easter's coming up. I've never done anything crafty for Easter in the past before other than just the regular traditional dyeing eggs thing. But thanks to the wonderful world of the internet, I found that there are lots of other Eastery options out there. I sound like an idiot. I shouldn't say Eastery. Do you guys have any Easter traditions that you do at home or elsewhere? Doesn't have to be at home just because we stay home doesn't mean everyone does. Okay, let's get into this video. So let's start with these rainbowy galaxy type tie dye ish eggs. You will need some sort of big dish and some shaving foam. I have a ton of this left over from making slime and I thought I would never find a way to use all of it, so yay, I'm happy. Ooh, it's so fluffy and beautiful. I smoothed it out using a spatula. I just wanted to eat it. I'm starting to feel like I have a weird fascination with shaving foam. Now take some food coloring and bloop 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 and then you can use a toothpick to kind of marble the colors I actually don't think you need to do this I tried it without the marbling thing and they came out just as good and then drop an egg in there and roll it around not too much because you don't want the colors to get all muddy then you can get it out of there and set it aside to dry and keep on going I was using tongs in the beginning to pick them up but eventually my hands got so messy Ugh. I just kind of ditched the tongs altogether because it was kind of pointless. If you don't want your hands to look like Rainbow Shrek for the next three days, you might want to wear gloves. I still haven't gotten all the dye out from under my fingernails, but it was totally worth it. Whoever came up with this idea was brilliant because I had so much fun doing this. Here's the one I didn't marble. I just dropped the colors a little bit closer together. Every step of this looked so cool. Even the leftovers are really pretty. Here's my little drying station over here, which is just a paper towel. <laughs> you want to let them sit for at least 30 minutes and let that color saturate. I left mine for closer to 45 minutes just to be safe. Pat them down gently with a paper towel to remove the shaving cream. Be careful because the color can smear a little bit. Here they are. Aren't they beautiful? I'm just sad that I can't keep them forever. Some of them turned out better than others, but I only had one that I considered a complete failure, which was this one. I just think it's ugly, but for the most part these turned out really great oh, no! The next project is actually making the egg starting with these water balloons You want water balloons specifically because they are more egg shaped than regular balloons These are supposedly cherry scented not like it matters I just chose them because they're cheap and some Easter candy, which I may or may not have been eating the whole time mm -hmm. Step one take the balloon and stick the candy inside oh, Okay, not the easiest, but it is possible <laughs> Please excuse my immaturity. Once you got the balloon at maximum capacity, which was for mine only about three chocolates, go ahead and blow it up. Also not the easiest. Tie it off and break out a container and some glue. Pour the glue, then add water. Mix together the glue and water. You don't want it too watery, but just enough to thin the glue out a bit. Now you will need some yarn. I found some nice Easter colors. So I'm just laying my yarn in the glue and trying to keep it as neat and orderly as possible because untangling yarn that is soaked in glue is not fun. And I'm just switching the colors every so often and then pushing all the yarn into the glue and soaking it in and finally I am wrapping the yarn around the balloon this always looks so easy when other people do it but I felt like my life was falling apart it was super messy there's glue everywhere and the balloon is also slippery I did eventually get it together though and I hung them to dry with some binder clips by tying a string across my staircase they will need to dry for about 24 hours and you will know when they're done because they should be very hard Ugh, those fingernails. And now the part that I found the most fun, popping the balloon. Oh. I 
I just used some tweezers to remove the balloon from the inside. Beware, it will drop a lot of glue dandruff all over the place. And then they were done. I think doing it a second time, I could make some improvements with these. I think I should have focused on wrapping the string a little bit more evenly. But if you're wondering how to get the candy out without destroying what you just made, I just made a single cut, poured out the candy, and then glued it back. Simple as that, it's like it never happened. Or you can just leave the candy out entirely if you are the kind of person that doesn't like candy. And finally is emoji eggs. I'm starting with a small cup and a teaspoon of vinegar. <gasps> Nope. And then I'm pouring boiling hot water into the cup and add about 15 drops of yellow food coloring. And doing it this way is cheaper than having to buy one of those egg dyeing kits. Now stick an egg in the cup and let it sit for about five minutes. The water should be much darker than you want your eggs to end up. So like pea color, but if you were severely dehydrated, probably not the best plan to dry them on a paper towel. If you have some sort of egg holder, that's more ideal. You can achieve a deeper yellow by dyeing them one more round through after they dry, which is what I did. I should have thought to dry them in this paint palette. And now it's time to add the emojiness. I used a sharpie for any of the black details and acrylic paint for any of the color details. I did use cling wrap to keep my sweaty little palms from smearing the dye around when I'm holding them. And here they are. I love almost all of them except that one with the heart eyes. He looks so busted. I don't know what happened. I am happy with the rest of them, so just, just don't look at that one. These were really quick and easy to make and all using very common household items, so I call it a success. And that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed these crafts and we'll try one of them out this Easter. I will see you guys on Monday for another video. Bye!